just got an 81 signal on the Mana Core. And it's a big silver, but it's a milk silver. Check this out. How about that? Back out here day four, didn't find a whole lot on day three. And uh, today's a typical England day two. It's cold and rainy. Hopefully it's gonna clear up a little bit. Back out here on a field that we hunted last uh, video where I found uh, Roman and some silver and a, and a hammered and some other stuff. I uh, just found this button right here. Check that out. But it looks like it's got maybe two arrows three arrows crossed and one going down go gilded it's my best find for today we can't hunt the field that we hunted last year where we found a lot of stuff but I'm back over here in this stubble and I'm headed over to that stubble right over there where I found a hammered and uh, found also a Roman and a 1300s Jeddon so I didn't hunt that very well last year, ran out of time. So we're gonna head over there and see what else we can find. We're gonna swing along the way though. So hopefully we can get us some greenies and some hammers and some silvers and other stuff. It's just been a bust four days so far. So hopefully the rest of the day is gonna be pretty good. Let's get at it. Well, the sun came out finally. It's starting to warm up a little bit. Still kind of windy and cold. I'm uh, over in a new field here uh, by myself. Everybody else is uh, across. The reservoir <clears throat> I'm gonna go over there in just a minute but anyway I got a couple signals here and uh, dug it up and it's a KG3 there she is or he is you see him looking to the right you see George there on top and you see one two three there we flip it over you can't really see Lady Britannia, Britannia. But uh, she's on the back there, so it's not a complete white one, but it's uh, you can see a little bit of it there. All right, looking for that elusive hammer, so let's keep swinging. Well, I was getting a 38 on my mana core. I dug this up, I cleaned it off. It's very thin, so I know it's not going to be a copper. <clears throat> it's going to be a copper token, and I'm hoping it's a local Colchester token. There's a bunch of them on the website. I'm going to try to identify this later on when I can get it cleaned up a little bit better. But if that's um, a Colchester token, you can still see a little design on the edge. You see it? Right there. It's got some writing. If I clean this up and this is a Colchester, this is going to be a, most likely a hammered Colchester token from the, uh, I believe, the 1500s and 1600s. You can see a little design on it. So by the time you're watching this video, you'll know what it is but uh-oh but anyway let's get a picture and let's keep on going well it's day five hope you can hear me the wind is just really blowing and uh i've been hunting all day have not found anything but buttons and uh finally got a good 28 on the mana core and i've dug so many they've just been buttons but this time it was a little bitty hammered silver y'all check this out let me get out of the wind maybe y'all can hear me I'm not sure. I've never dug one like this before, so I don't know what it is. But it's pretty. It shined up very pretty. I don't know if it goes that way or if it goes that way. You see how thin they are. There's the back of it. We should be able to get identification on this. Hopefully by the time you're watching this video, I've already identified it. But man, it's good to be on the board. Plugmaster has like five, three hammers and two milled. Uh, Brandon in the group has a a big a Queen Elizabeth I. And so we've been digging some silvers out of this this big old huge pasture field. So let's keep swinging. There's nothing like digging a hammered. Let's see if we can go get some more. Well, still working this big old field. 
nugget noggin right there. He's up here by me. And I uh, haven't dug, found anything since that last hammer, but I just came up here and just got an 81 signal on the mana core. And it's a big silver, but it's a milled silver. Check this out. How about that? Looky there, haven't cleaned it up yet. Don't even know what it is, how old it's gonna be. It looks like a King William III, so this could be from 1690 to 17 something. I don't know if it may be a one flooring. I'll take that. Let's clean it up and see what we can, see what this is gonna be. Come on, water. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's gonna be... It's gonna be a good one. Yeah. I don't know the I have to look the him up. There you go guys. I wanna say it's gonna be Yeah, there's I think it's gonna say William. We can't keep in the focus. I don't know. It's old. It's going to be definitely be uh, late 1600s, early 1700s. I'll uh, get the exact date here in a minute. Let me uh, get my app out and let me see what this is going to be. Well, it definitely is going to be a King William III. I don't know if it's going to be a shilling or a half crown. It may be a half crown. And the date on there, there it's on the top, you can't see it, but it's 16 something. So it's going to be 1695 to 1699. Uh, one of those, uh, one of those dates. Man, I never dug one of those. Check that out. That is awesome, isn't it? All right. Let's keep looking around in here and see what we can find. Well, it's day six out here in Colchester, England, or nearby. And we're out in the fields this morning. Again, it's a typical England day, cold and windy. Not as bad as it has been, but uh, we're out here in the fields today. Got lots of ground to cover and got my first good target. It's ringing up like a 67, real jumpy all around. I'm thinking, well, I don't know if I want to dig this or not because it's not a good solid tone on my uh, mana core. But I'm glad I dug it because as soon as I saw it, I knew what it is, what it was. So check this out. Do you see it? It is a copper coin, most likely a KG3, but I want you to see how it's bent. That's not from being hit by a plow. That is what they call it. It's a poor man's love token. Poor so, man's love token. The beauty of that is that um, it's got, it has a little story to it that somebody's passed it to a loved one or somebody that they liked, wanted to go on a date with, and, and that's almost like a little proposal. Would you go out on a date or have this dance with me? Oh, and wow. I thought it was just hit by the plow. And it's so personal to somebody's making a, a gesture to somebody else. That is it's so cool. Thing. And also, the other story with this is that you might have heard the, um, the poem, there was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile, who found a crooked sixpence, by a crooked style that's the uh, a poor man's version that's of that the poor crooked, oh. si crooked that's a good find then isn't it so in some ways it's a lot nicer than finding like a gold one or a silver one right. <laughs> because it means somebody who had no money was prepared to give up that money right. to make that gesture so yeah very personal lovely find anyway a little bit of piece of english history i love it so let's keep on looking got another little piece of uh, english history i've got a spindle whirl here we dig these quite frequently, and uh, let me show you what it is. A spindle whirl. Let me clean it up, and I'll tell you what it is. All right, here it is. And that's what it looks like. This is, uh, uh, they started these in the Roman period, went all the way up through the medieval period, and uh, this is back on the spinning machines. In fact, as uh, I am talking, I will put the history up right here and show you some pictures of it and tell you all about it.
getting a 22 on my manacore. I got some type of little brass coin. It's pretty thin, but you can tell. I try what you get in the sun, but the wind is blowing so bad. It's got a design on it there, and a design on it here. Almost looks like it says 666 on it, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully that's not 666. Maybe, I don't know what that is. I think it goes that way. It's kind of like a caterpillar. Legs on each side. I have to see if I can get this one. This may be an old ancient coin of some sort. All right, let's get a picture. Let's keep on looking. Well, it's day seven. We're out here at this farm, this pasture land. Beautiful houses all around. So I'm up here by this house right here, seeing if I can find anything. And I just got a 72 on the Manicore and popped it up. I don't know what it is yet. Let's clean it up and see what it is. Now, I just got all the mud off of it. it looks like a silver coin, doesn't it? Yep. Let's uh, clean this up and see what it is. It's time to break out the holy water. It's going to be a coin. Let's put it up here where maybe we can see a little bit better. 18... Can't read it. 18 something. Let me get it all cleaned up and dried off. It's raining and let's see what this is going to be. All right, now I got it cleaned up. It's going to be an 1816 bullhead. This is King George III silver, probably a two pence. Um, maybe a three pence. I'm really not sure on my denominations on my English coins, but definitely as a George the bull. They call it the bullhead. Look at his head. Looks like a bull. 1816, that's a good find. I just wanted one good find today. We're only hunting half a day. And I wanted a good find to end my video out on. And uh, so I'm gonna keep searching here for another hour or two and shoot the wrap up and hopefully we'll find a few more of these little brothers and sisters around. So let's keep looking. I just got this 72 signal. Just cleaned it up, wasn't for sure what it is. It'll be some type of little plate that went on to something. I don't see anything on it, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take anything right now. We only got a half a day left. Beautiful England countryside. That's Nugget Noggin right down there in the middle. A gloomy, rainy day. I think it rained on us every day this year. I'm just hunting right up in this yard, seeing what we can find. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for my England trip number four. I had a great time. I met uh, some new guys. We had 12 over here with us and uh, we found a lot of good stuff. A lot of hammers, a lot of silvers, a lot of coppers, a lot of uh, greenies, uh, we call them. And uh, even one gold coin that Rob uh, finds treasure, his YouTube channel, go check him out, uh, found things. And I think we all got something. Uh, this is going to be probably one of the least amount of things that I found in this year that I found in the previous years. But nonetheless, it's great to come over, 
because everything you dig is usually very, very old anyway, stuff that we can't dig in the States. And uh, so we're just about ready to wrap it up for the day and head in and uh, be coming back uh, on Saturday until next year. So I got everything laid out. Let me spin you around. Let me show you what I've got. All right, here's all my trash for the week. Uh, it's piled up. You're going to dig lots and lots and lots of trash when you come to England in these fields. And the next thing you're going to dig is lots and lots and lots of buttons. I didn't lay these out. They're all different size buttons, gold gilded, uh, just flat buttons from the 1700s, possibly even 1600s, 1800s, 1900s. Uh, you'll dig a lot of lead as well. Got some type of little thing here. Well, now there are some of the least finds. Here's some of the better finds. Found some type of fancy doodad. I don't know what it is. Another little uh, hinge or something like that. Another little plate. I just dug it just a few minutes ago. <clears throat> Did get one toy cannon. Uh, that was a real popular thing back in the day is to have toy cannons. Some other little doodad. I really don't know what that is. I gotta wait and get it identified. Some very old copper, brass, bronze, nail. Some other little doodads. Some spindle whorls. Some bell seals, 1835. Even dug a cloth bell seal that has Hebrew writing around it. And so I thought that was very neat. Here's all my greenies for the week. It's KG2s, KG3s, that one's a modern one, more modern, I would say early 1900s. Those are all 18, 1700s. And didn't dig as many as I normally do, but that's all right. You dig so many of them anyway. Dug a few modern Queen Elizabeth, six of them uh, today. Here's some of my better finds. I did find one little brass ring, one nice button with three arrows going down into it. We haven't identified that yet. A Royal Artillery military button. It's got three cannonballs on the top with three cannons going down the middle. I did find one Condor token. That's what they're called. They're local Colchester tokens. And then I got a Colchester token itself right there. Then I got that real neat love token. And then I got a lead token. And that's all my tokens and buttons there. Then here's what we come for, the silver. I got uh, King George III, this is called a bullhead, 1816. Then I got King Louis the Sixteenth. I think that's 1730 or 1740. That's a milled silver as well. Then this is my find, I love this one. This is a King William the Third, one shilling. And uh, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can find the date right there right on the top right there's a 16 let's see if i can point to it right there and 16 either 1695 it's going to be a 1696 97 98 or 99 one of the three and then this is what we really come for we come for the hammers here's a, a hammered silver that's very tarnished uh, we haven't identified it yet but it's definitely hammered here is a, another hammered coin. We haven't identified this one yet. It's really nice. And then my best hammered of the week is a King Henry VI. Check that out. That's beautiful, isn't it? It's got a long cross on it. And uh, we'll get them identified later on. We turn all this in. Uh, we have to turn all this in and it gets cleared. And then we can have it shipped to us or pick it up next year when we come back. And so you don't want to take anything back with you. And so we had a great time. I did hunt today with uh, this week with my manacore. And I want to give a big shout out to Mike Berryhill. Uh, Y'all give him a shout out on this video. Mike uh, ended up buying this for me. And I appreciate that very much. We were talking about it online one day. And he asked me if I was going to get one. I told him I couldn't afford one being a pastor and all. And next thing I know it, he calls me up and says, hey, I've got it paid for. You're third in line to get one. So I want to thank Bobby Sullivan as well with CS Sales there that sold that to, uh, to him. And, and I picked it up from him. And so I want to give a shout out to Bobby and especially for Mike for buying me that manicure. It really paid off. I really enjoyed it uh, digging with it this uh, this year. 
and uh, definitely going to be my go-to detector now and leave, leave my equinox as my backup i really like that 2d graph and uh, learning the new numbers though i had to learn a lot of new numbers so maybe that's why i didn't find as much as i normally would because i'm having to learn the machine a little bit i didn't have a chance to even get on it and learn it before i came over here i literally turned it on for the first time when i got on the grounds in england and started detecting but it's pretty easy simple turn it on and go so i want to thank again mike for buying that uh, manicure for me and bobby for giving it to me ahead of time and allowing me to bring it over to england and uh, so i can't appreciate someone so much for doing such a, a great act of generosity so there's all my trash and here's all my treasure And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can come over here to England and dig up in the fields and find some old, old stuff. The greatest treasure, my friend, is found up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.